What's going on, MBL Network? This is episode number five of the Final Minutes, hosted by Bombers. Season 24, we're going to be looking at a week three matchup between the 2-0 Vikings going into Carolina, taking on the 1-1 Carolina Panthers. The score is currently 24-21. The Vikings are up. After an interception in the end zone from the Carolina Panthers, there's 32 seconds left. It's first and 10 for the Vikings on the 20-yard line. Carolina does have three timeouts left, and this game does seem to be all but over. And we are live in Carolina right now. Looks to be all but over. Carolina does have three timeouts. First and 10 for the Minnesota Vikings. Expect to see a lot of Cornelius here as they go up the middle. Tries to bounce it to the outside. Nowhere to go. Quick timeout for Carolina. They're still fighting. But down 24-21 to 21 right now. They're going to have to burn all their timeouts. If they can get a stop here, they're going to have less than 20 seconds left to try to make a play down the field and get a field goal to tie this game and try to send it into overtime. Looking very unlikely right now. Two tight ends set to the right, wide receiver offset to the left, I formation. Here comes the Minnesota Vikings. Another handoff up the middle to Cornelius. Nowhere to go again. Great defense by the Carolina Panthers as they burn their second timeout with 24 seconds remaining. Third and 13 for the Minnesota Vikings. A team that's looking to play pretty conservative right now. They're looking to just burn another timeout from Carolina and, and extend this game and, and take away their timeouts and, and try to hope their defense can come up with the with the play to pretty much seal this game. As we said, about a little under 20 seconds left if they can get a stop here. Single back formation, four wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Making some adjustments at the line of the scrim scrimmages, Carolina and Minnesota, as they go to a tight formation now. Looking up the middle, little adjustments by Teddy Bridgewater. Going to be a handoff to Cornelius to the left side. He stutter steps, gets down, big hit. He goes down. It's going to be 24-21. to 21. They burn their last time out. It's the punt unit coming on for Minnesota. 20 seconds left. If he can get some good hang time on this punt, he can really take some time off the clock and, and, and put Carolina maybe in a one-play situation. Looks like they're trying to side with the punt right now, and there it goes. It's in the air. Nice high punt, burning off some time. Started with 20 seconds, 5 seconds in the air, 6 seconds in the air, 7 seconds of hang time. It gives Carolina only uh, 12 seconds to play with no timeouts, guys. This has got to be an issue right now if you're Carolina. What are you going to do? Throw to the sidelines or go for the one big Hail Mary play? Fourth quarter, the Minnesota Vikings are looking to improve to 3-0. They're going to put themselves atop the NFC North with this win today. So it will be very unlikely if Carolina can get in field goal range. All right, guys, it's a critical play alert. Critical play alert. you got 30 yards before you're actually in field goal range. Bobo is reading the defense right now. He sees two high safeties. Looks like cover two man. Expect maybe a corner route from the slot or something really quick to get out of bounds. Seconds here without any time. They're currently on their own 37-yard line. And here goes Bobo. Hikes the ball. Little, little swing play to the halfback. He's got some space in front of him. Down to midfield. Makes a man miss. He's in field goal range. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. Somehow this just happened. He's in field goal range right now on a halfback swing. And there's five seconds left. It's time for the kick unit to come out. And Carolina is going to look to send this game to overtime. Lining up the kick right now. Timeout for Minnesota. This is going to be the icing feature that was featured on Madden 17. A uh, new feature added. Uh, the ice, it makes it a lot difficult. You know, this is what, a 50, 50 yard field goal at this point? They're at the 33, about 50 yards. So this is going to be a real interesting kick to see if he gets it down. The kicker is iced. How clutch is Carolina right now? How clutch is Carolina right now? Here goes the, the kick. It's up. It's a, it's a fake. Oh my gosh, he faked it. He's got a man wide open. He dropped, he dropped the pass. I can't believe it. He's dropped the pass. The pass was dropped. Carolina shaking their head. They can't believe it right now. Wow. And somehow, they left a second on the clock. So now they're going to get to really kick this field goal and send this game into overtime. Wow, what is going on right now? I'm completely confused by the situation. 24 to 21. Carolina's down three. Five seconds left. They run a fake field goal. And they find their tight end who drops it wide open. That would have won the game. I don't know what's going on right now. We had all-time viewers in this broadcast. Hit over 140 viewers watching at once. They're icing the kicker for Carolina here. The kick. It's up. It looks good. It's good. We're going to overtime 24-24. to How did you drop that fake field goal wide open? So many questions right now I have for the Carolina Panthers. They run a fake field goal. They put their tight end in instead of their lineman there for the fake field goal. They get over top of the defense. The defense has no idea what's going on. And the tight end just drops the pass. How can that even happen? 
And Minnesota wins a coin flip, and they're going to get the ball. Carolina looks to kick this ball off. They're, uh, they're hoping their defense can come up with one more big stance. Give them an opportunity to fight at home here. They're currently 1-1. One and one. Uh, They're in the mix in their division, but that division has been, has been ran by the Atlanta Falcons, who are coming off a Super Bowl championship in NBL Season 23. As here comes your Minnesota Vikings. Going to start off first and 10 on their own 25-yard line. 75 yards to go. A uh, touchdown would win the game. Field goal would put them ahead. It would obviously give Carolina the ball back and an opportunity for them to kick a field goal. Or they'd have to score on that possession. Per NFL rules. Expect to see a lot here from this Minnesota Viking team. This is a team that is, is built around the run game. But they also have a wide receiver out there. I like to mention Trey Hackett. Him and Cornelius are a nice duo of little little run game, a little pass game, and Teddy Bridgewater uh, in shotgun right now. Looks like a pistol formation. Putting a man in motion to the right side as he moves to the slot. It's going to be a handoff to Cornelius. No, play action. Looking down the field. Finds a man over the middle. There he goes down to the 45-yard line, 47-yard line. Bridgewater looking great. This offense looking fresh, and that's a huge gain on first down. It's going to put Carolina on its heels. First and 10 now for the Minnesota Vikings on Carolina's 47 as they flip the field immediately. A great catch right there by number 88. Expect a big play from Luke Keekley here. We haven't seen too much of him throughout this game. He hasn't made any big splash plays, and now's the time to do it. Shotgun formation, Cornelius offset to the right. Here comes the Minnesota Vikings. Teddy Bridgewater making some adjustments at the line of scrimmage. As the play clock's clicking, ticking down, ticking down. Bridgewater making a couple adjustments under 10 seconds on the play clock now. Switching his man to right to left. Is he going to hand it off here? Back to the other side. Hand off. No. Play action again for Minnesota. Another play over the middle. Almost intercepted by Carolina defense. A defense that is not that good right now. A defense that ranks 29th in the Madden Bomber League in this season. Uh, rushing rank was 22. Pass rank 23. So against the pass and the rush, this team has not been good. And they're playing about a middle-of-the-pack offense right now, led by Cornelius at halfback, and Trey Hackett at wide receiver, Teddy Bridgewater, obviously the center, the quarterback, excuse me, for the Minnesota Vikings. Here goes empty set, shotgun formation, Teddy Bridgewater, second and ten. Man comes in motion to the right side. Looks like a potentially a screen here. They hike it, they do get the screen off. They're not looking, they're looking down the field. They find another man down the field, over the middle of the field. And there it goes, number 88 again, Trey Hackett making big plays right now. As a nice throw by Teddy Bridgewater gets them down to the 23. So Minnesota is essentially in field goal range right now. A field goal does not win the game. But what the field goal can do is put some pressure on this Carolina offense. They'd have to score on the next possession first and 10. Though the Minnesota fans are saying let's just get in the end zone and let's improve our record to 3-0 and and, and take a, ourselves atop this NFC North. Both of those completions in overtime have gone to Trey Hackett. Trey Hackett, the number one target, number one wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. And many argue in Minnesota that he's the best wide receiver in the Madden Bomber League. Here we go, shotgun formation. Cornelius to the left. Hikes dropping back. Bridgewater looking, finds a man over the middle again. Almost intercepted, deflected. That's two. That's two times Tre Teddy Bridgewater has tried to force a pass in this overtime that could easily have been intercepted by, intercepted by the Carolina defense, but it has not been. And now they're at second and ten, so definitely some missed opportunities thus far for Carolina in overtime. But I'm still stuck on that fake field goal. Guys, in the comments section, if you're watching the final minutes right now, let me know what you think about that fake field goal. How crazy was it, that drop? Five seconds left. He's eyeing up for that field goal, Carolina. They go with the fake. Got a man wide open, and he drops it. Uh, big play missed right there for Carolina. Gutsy call, though. Definitely a gutsy call by the coaching staff in Carolina. Here goes shotgun formation. Cornelius to the left side. He's dropping back as Teddy Bridgewater. He's got time all the time in the pocket. Drop back, drop back. He's looking. Floats it over the middle. Deflected again. And that's three. Three opportunities there for the Carolina Panthers to make a play. And instead, the defense bats the ball down instead of making a play on the ball. It's going to be third and ten. Critical stop here for the Carolina Panthers coming up. This is obviously a uh, previous broadcast. Uh, big shout out to Delvar behind the scenes. TFA was also on this broadcast. You can check it out in its entirety by clicking the link in the description below uh, on the final minutes uh, video description. Here we go, Minnesota Vikings, third and 10. 429 left in overtime. This is a big opportunity for Minnesota to make a play here. They drop him back, Bridgewater, a little fake screen. He goes with the screen. Looks like he's going to pick up the first down. He's got his man again down to the about 12, 13-yard line, 12-yard line, Bridgewater. 
He, when he looks good, he looks good. When he's off, he looks horrible. But right now, it seems like he's finding his rhythm a little bit. A couple forced throws, but they haven't really had to pay for it as Carolina hasn't been able to come up with any real turnovers. Shotgun formation. Here goes Cornelius. Against cover two man defense. Teddy Bridgewater uh, looking at the defense. Looking where Trey Hack is at. Doesn't like what he sees, and they're going to call a timeout. Uh, the coach didn't like that what he saw, and then Bridgewater wants to discuss it over. Guys, also don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. If you're liking the final minutes or you have any comments or suggestions, make sure you put that in uh, the comment section below. Let us know. Uh, feedback is always welcome. We're always looking for some constructive criticism to help improve the channel and help improve the show. Here we go. Minnesota 24, Carolina 24. Four minutes left. They're on the 12-yard line inside the red zone. A team that struggled inside the red zone during this game. Are trying to make good on it. A little motion there. Hand off up the middle. Cornelius, he's got space. Gets down to the 6-7 yard line. And it's going to be second and goal. Second and five, excuse me, from the 7-yard line. Cornelius, another big run for the halfback that's been carrying this Minnesota Vikings team. At this point, Carolina's had three opportunities to come up with the pick. Uh, they've had some deflections. Their defense has made some plays. They just haven't been able to create that turnover that really could have changed the events of the game. Single back formation. Cornelius back there. Looks like a potential handoff. Teddy checking at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a handoff to the left side. He's got space. And he's gone. Touchdown. Yo, what's going on, guys? I uh, hope you enjoyed that episode. That was episode number five of the final minutes. Uh, really a thriller. Came down to the end. Now, if you want to watch that game in its entirety with the original broadcasting crew, click that link below or go to our playlist, NBL Live Play-by-Play -play Broadcast. And don't forget to hit this like button and also hit the subscribe button for more content like this coming out on the NBL Network.